the pilot project, uh, which was one of the recommendations that had come out from the UMR report in 2013 has taken place. Uh, so that's around allowing caregivers to stay in hospital with their clients with spinal cord injury. Um, and this pilot has been um, uh, conducted and evaluated and um, reports just being finalised. Uh, in terms of uh, paid carers, uh, the survey information suggests that paid carers feel that they have a really appropriate level of knowledge to provide support to the person with spinal cord injury, in fact 91%, um, and they feel that their role as a support worker for a person with a spinal cord injury is sustainable, um, that's 84%. Um, However, only 68% of carer respondents felt that their employer had provided adequate training for them to be a support worker. Uh, in terms of how carers, uh, how people with spinal cord injury feel about carers, 76% of adults with spinal cord injury feel that their carers have an appropriate level of knowledge, and 88% feel that they have reliable carers. Um, there was a couple of uh, issues uh, that were highlighted. One is that um, people with spinal cord injury uh, would like more support to or to be provided training about how to manage carers, not just how to direct care. Uh, and so uh, there's, a, there's a sense that, um, that the management of, of working out how to um, ensure that the carers meet, the, meet their needs over time and that uh, that issues are addressed over time uh, is an area that could more work could be done in. Uh, the other thing is that family members of adults with spinal cord injury um, uh, identified that they weren't confident uh, that their family member would be well cared for if they were sick or if they needed to take a holiday. And that was regardless of whether their support was primary, primarily provided by a care agency uh, or not. And so this is an area that we feel could be improved, but at the moment, a significant burden is still being placed on family members to ensure um, that, their family, that their family member with a spinal cord injury is, is able to get um, uh, sustainable and uh, timely and uh, trained care uh, in an ongoing manner.